Don't miss Clownfish Studios' latest crowdfunder, Crimson Wren Volume 1 on Kickstarter and Indiegogo. Thaddeus Wendell's greatest treasure is out there, and it's up to young mage Crimson Wren and the crew of a rundown airship called the True North to find it. But will they find it in time? Crimson Wren of the True North is a race against the clock filled with action, adventure, comedy, and heart. This is a brand new manga-style graphic novel from Clownfish Studios. Go to crimsonwren.com or check it out on Indiegogo and Kickstarter. It ends on November 18th. That's November 18th. And now on with the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon and another day, another cancellation attempt on Dave Chappelle. He's apparently going to be hosting Saturday Night Live, which is somehow still a thing. Didn't a bunch of people quit this year? I don't know. Somehow it's still a thing. Dave Chappelle is going to be hosting and now staff writers are boycotting. They're boycotting. They're not going to participate in the uh, white supremacy of Dave Chappelle. Um, <laughs> you know, we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, go out to clownfishtv.com for more pop culture news. Objective pop culture news. It's getting harder and harder to find anymore. All these uh, websites are kind of crazy. Uh, they are kind of crazy. So, yeah, this is uh, coming from the New York Post. Exclusive SNL staff writers are boycotting the show over Dave Chappelle's hosting gig. Um, so there's unrest at 30 Rock, page six here, over the decision to sign up Dave Chappelle to host Saturday Night Live this weekend. We're told some of the staff writers are so furious that the comedy superstar who has made transphobic and homophobic jokes has been chosen to helm the iconic show that they're sitting out the episode. They're not going to do the show, an insider told Page Six, but none of the actors are boycotting. The show would be a lot funnier if Dave Chappelle wrote it. I'm just saying. They could just have him write all the skits. Uh, <laughs> Chappelle's rep told us there was nothing to suggest that there was a boycott when they attended the writers' meetings this week. Uh, SNL revealed last week the Chappelle show star would host the show with musical guest Black Star <gasps> on November 12th. It'll be his third time as the host. But now it's it's more troublesome because uh, people who have tried to cancel Dave Chappelle uh, have failed to cancel Dave Chappelle. And of course, Dave Chappelle attacked uh, not too long ago by some crazy rando at a comedy event out in California. Um, you know, just people can't uh, can't take a joke. And look, I don't agree necessarily with his his style of humor, but. Uh, if you don't like his show, you don't like him, don't watch it. I mean, it's really that simple. Don't watch it. But a lot of people watch and love Dave Chappelle. I mean, his comedy specials are you know, the highest rated, I believe, on Netflix. Uh, the guy is worth millions and millions of dollars. He's actually more popular now than he's ever been. He's actually made a comment before saying that this is what uh, cancellation feels like. Uh, he's loving it. He's loving it. So he last hosted the sketch comedy show in 2020, well before Netflix released The Closer. It angered some viewers because many of Chappelle's jokes were aimed at the trans community. For example, he intentionally misgendered a trans friend and fellow comedian for laughs. Uh, Chappelle was at 30 Rock on Tuesday meeting with writers and producers, and his rep told us there was no evidence of a boycott. The room was full of writers. They all pitched ideas, and they seemed very excited about it. Dave was looking to have some fun. After the announcement, SNL writer Celeste Yim reportedly wrote on Instagram, I'm trans non-binary. I use they, them pronouns. Transphobia is murder and it should be condemned. But did they say they were going to do the show or not? Uh, it's unclear if they're one of the writers boycotting this week's show or if they were actually referring to Chappelle. They did not get back to us when we reached out. A rep for SNL also did not get back to us. <laughs> Meanwhile, the show made history when it announced the first out non-binary cast member, Molly Kearney, back in September. Uh, Kearney, Kearney, Kearney has not publicly addressed Chappelle's show. Uh, Ex-Netflix executive Tara Field, who sued the streaming service claiming they retaliated against them for speaking out against Chappelle, tweeted about the announcement. Wait, I thought I canceled him. Is it possible cancel culture isn't a real thing? 
No, it's it's a totally real thing. You attempted to destroy his career, have Netflix pull his shows. Now, this isn't the first time that there's been controversy uh, over a host. Uh, hardly, I mean, it's hardly the first time. Uh, SNL, I mean, going back, I remember uh, Andrew Dice Clay. Uh, I forget who it was. It was Nora Dunn. Somebody, somebody sat out the show. And uh, this was back in the 80s, early 90s. And Andrew Dice Clay came on because he was too much of a misogynist. We couldn't be in the same room with him, couldn't be on the same stage with him. And uh, people sat that show out. And of course, we had the infamous, uh, infamous uh, Sinead O'Connor uh, Pope pick rip thing that happened. And they had to, to black out the show. Uh, last year, Elon Musk, you know, the, 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 the Nazi who's ruined Twitter, who bought Twitter just to, to troll all the celebrities to make them feel very, very bad about paying $15,000 for blue checks. Yeah, uh, he was on the show last, last year, was very, very unfunny. Uh, so actually, those writers sitting it out, probably not a bad thing. You know, it's kind of funny. SNL is not, uh, not as progressive as I thought it was. They did, they did an episode couple of months ago where they had uh, people sitting around a table eating dinner questioning the vaccine mandates and whether or not the vaccines worked and you couldn't actually ask that they're like careful careful you can't ask that it was actually very funny um but yeah the show is somehow coasting on fumes uh <laughs> chappelle will be a a draw they need they need somebody like him on there to hopefully uh you know give it a shot in the arm Let's see what twitter's saying here um, I love when people have principles and demonstrate them and those without principles judge them. Good on them. It's what George Carlin, Richard Pryor, Bill Hicks, Joan Rivers, and Norm MacDonald would have done. Absolutely. Can't have any dicey comedy on, on SNL at all. Chappelle can write 10 skits in 10 minutes better than anything SNL has put out in 10 years. That is entirely true. All 10 skits would consist of, I can't say anything without being canceled today and trans people weird. Ha 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 ha. No, no. Uh, snowflakes, snowflakes. They apparently have no respect for freedom of speech. If they cancel Dave Chappelle, I will boycott all of SNL and all SNL advertisers. They're hypocrites who have no respect for comedy or comedians. No, it's painfully apparent that SNL has no respect or need for comedians anymore, right? Um, yeah, so <laughs> nobody knows this. Yeah, nobody's gonna notice if one writer doesn't show up. Uh, this is kind of funny, guys. It's kind of funny. Um, that's the funniest thing about it is that people are going to protest and uh, they're probably going to get record views anyway because Dave Chappelle's on and people love him. Yeah, you don't have to agree with them, but people love him. I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views and rants and we'll talk later.